Hey guys, so I just did a video explaining how Rise of Red is canon to the Descendants universe. Now, here's a proper order of how to watch all the movies and projects in preparation for Rise of Red. Obviously, we gotta start off with the OG, Descendants 1. Without this, you're not gonna understand any of the franchise. And plus, the soundtrack is iconic, Rotten to the Core is a great song. And yeah, you, got, you gotta start off with the beginning. And then you're gonna wanna go to Descendants 2, where Uma is a villain, the daughter of Ursula, and then Mal is struggling to fit in an Ordon as a villain kid, where, where it's really just a check-in movie. This is a check-in movie for all the VKs to see how they're doing in Ordon and how they're fitting in. See, but before you get to Descendants 2, you have to watch two specific short films to understand what's going on in the story. So Audrey was not present in Descendants 2. So you have Audrey's Royal Return. It explains where she is and where her head is at going into Descendants 3. Then we got Descendants Under the Sea, where basically explaining where Mal and Uma's head is at in terms of their rival relationship when it goes to Descendants 3. This is also an important thing you need to watch. It's about 10 minutes and Audrey's Royal Return was about two minutes. But then after all of that, you can go watch Descendants 3 and understand everything that is going on in the story. So yeah, but then after Descendants 3, and then after Descendants 3, you have Descendants the Royal Wedding. All these animated characters are played by all their original actors, but in an animated format, obviously excluding Cameron Boyce's character, Carlos. Um, may he rest in peace. Um, but yeah, everybody came back for this besides um, Jane, Harry, and Gil. So yeah, this is very candid and it sets up Descendants The Rise of Red, which is a direct continuation. It's not a reboot. It's a continuation of the original story because if you watch The Royal Wedding, it literally ends the original franchise and continues with this new saga. But here's an honorable mention. You have Descendants The Wicked World. This is an animated uh, version of Descendants. This is not in any way canon to the main uh, universe because there are a bunch of vks in this that do not show up in the movie you can watch if you want to if you're really missing descendants content but it's not required for you to understand the story and the main descendants storyline this is an alternate universe of sorts but yeah i hope this helps with you guys preparing for descendants the rise of red which comes out july 12th can't wait to see it